have kind of an interesting angle on this game. Nothing for me on the side or the total, but I will take a long shot bet with Bryce Terang of the Brewers to record a stolen base. This is plus 330. So if you got some change you want to throw around, I recommend doing it this way on this game. In breaking down this series, guys, the one thing that stood out to me, Milwaukee 0 for 1 on stolen base attempts in the first two games. Why would that stand out to me? Well, in the regular season, they played the Mets six times, and they were 17 for 17 in stolen base attempts. Overall, a case could be made. The Brewers were the best base running team in all of baseball during the regular season. So I expect them, season on the line, maybe be a little more aggressive with runners on the base pass tonight. And the guy I want to focus on is Terang, because he was the team leader in steals, 50 during the regular season. And there was a game just last week against this Mets team, guys, where Terang was three for three on steal attempts. One game. He stole three bases. Uh, now, he was moved down to ninth in the order last night. If that seems strange, it's not. It's because he doesn't lead off when the uh, opposing team starts a left-hander. And you will have a lefty on the mound tonight for the Mets in Quintana. But when the Brewers faced Quintana last week, they had two steals against him. So, just to make it real quick, the handicap, I think we see more aggressive base running from Milwaukee tonight. They were number two in steals as a team during the regular season. And my opinion, the guy that's the best bet to record a steal would be the guy who had double the number of steals of anyone else on the team. That is Terang, so plus 330 to record a stolen base. I think that could be a nice win here in game three. Stolen brace props from Brian Power. Great stuff, my friend. Talk about what you have going right now at wagertalk.com. Yeah, if you missed my $5 play earlier in the week, good news. I bundled it together now with my 4% game of the week in the NFL. You can get both plays for just $29. So far this season, guys, I'm 8-2 and two with NFL sides. That is 80%. Number two, all NFL this season. Number two, all football this season. So a very strong start in both NFL and college. Don't forget to take advantage of that seven-day special, just $77. That's $11 per day, I believe, if the math works out correctly, Press.